it's uh, about 10 after 6. We're definitely running behind. Got home from Little Redlands trail ride uh, about 5 o'clock. Just started washing bikes. By the time we got those washed and um, re-prepped and put back in the trailer, it's probably about 11. Got in bed about midnight, so not a lot of sleep, but we're back at it again this morning, heading out to the new property that uh, IXCR is running this weekend, and uh, the dirt looks like it's going to be about perfect. So I'm racing today. Obviously, the boys are racing today. Should be a good time. Okay, so here we go with a little youth action. This is Deegan Kaplinger, followed by Charlie Holland, and then uh, Garrett Ferguson, Grayson, and Doc. They kind of went back and forth all morning. It was kind of fun to watch. Tucker McCrary. But yeah, we got there kind of right as the race was starting. <laughs> right here, I didn't realize I was standing on the track. Doc came through, kind of using a wide line there. After the race, he came up and actually apologized to me for almost running me over, but it was actually my fault. But um, Eli Poe coming through right there. As you can see, uh, they had a little bit of rain on Friday, I guess, and uh, the quads worked it in really nice. And uh, the bird ended up being perfect. Grayson and Doc coming through, they were pretty much like that the whole time. Uh, Grayson ended up getting the win, Doc got second. I think uh, Brody Amos ended up third overall. Are you hot? There were the Ray girls going hot. through. What did Bob teach you? Get the head on that thing. Roll speed. Roll speed. I don't know if I'm going to use it. I think it might be. That, but that wasn't any yeah, quicker. And you're using uh, more energy. No? No. Okay, so here we go for... Uh, the intermediate race. Always coming through. Didn't get really good start. But uh, coming through first lap, I think Ryder. Yeah, Ryder had moved up into second. Bailey Walker had gotten out to an early lead. Uh, this is my footage. I think this was uh, right on the first lap as they were coming through. Bailey was still out front. Ryder wasn't too far behind. And then I'm pretty sure Cooper uh, was in fourth right here. So you can see the dirt and uh, the woods were in really good shape. They did run them through this little creek section. Uh, it was pretty... Um, it was actually pretty gnarly on a big bike too, so it was kind of cool to see the 65s. I think they ran the 50s through there as well. Here comes Rock through the little slippery creek section. There's a little bit of roots and stuff in there. Made it hard. Roxon, I think, had gotten some stuff in his grip. His grip was sticking on him. Some riders coming through here still. Um, I think at this point Cooper had gotten around into third place. Ah! 
Casey telling him to push right there. Back out into the field there. And rider coming through. This is the field section kind of right before the finish line there. This is the beginning of the field section. I'm, I believe that's Jeff's footage. He kind of stood right here in this little area. Got some riders coming through. There goes truck. So here comes rider coming through. He would get the checkered flag. And uh, Bailey came through there in second. And then Cooper uh, ended up getting his first podium of the year right there. Just barely beating Chuck. Um, Mason was having a good race. He ended up fifth. You threw up in your helmet? Why? Because he got good shot. Because he got nervous. Oh. He wanted that podium so bad he couldn't stand it. Ew. I don't even see it. I can smell it. All right, I gotta go get ready for my race. Okay. Here. Long time coming. What a race! Did you see what was going on in front of you? Yeah, baby ate it hard. <laughs> well, you're not supposed to smile when you say that. Got to cover from your podium today. Your overall champion, Ryder Woodrum. Shot. Good luck. Yeah. Is this Maybe. So here we go with our uh, 150BC race, Bryce, you can see jump out there and uh, a little bit of a lead there and that was me second and third right there with Ethan. Van's bike didn't fire on the line so he ended up uh, dead last but he made up time pretty quick. Um, and you could probably see in one of my other videos that uh, I had the lead and then uh, washed out and then right before we went into the woods or going up a hill or something but lost the lead uh weston ray on his uh brother's bike there getting another whole shot that's like the best starting ktm with a button i've ever seen rob surface Coming through back in the woods. I believe this is Adrian's footage. This little ravine. I think Vane had already made his way into the lead. Uh, this is I'm not real sure. Maybe halfway through the course. Um, I didn't even catch how many miles the track was. Super fun track, as you can see. That uh, 
Brad Mundy on his big gas gas 450. Bryce and Jackson coming through. Jackson must have went down somewhere. And there's Weston. But yeah, dirt was perfect. Um, I actually ran this race and it was really fun track. Nothing too difficult on the track other than um, just a little creek section that had a couple bikes get tangled up in it a couple times and which then kind of made it uh, difficult. And then I, I kind of went for a silly line that I knew wasn't going to work but I ended up trying it anyway but um, other than that you can see that the fields and everything kind of almost looked like a prep motocross track literally no dust anywhere some decent ruts and plenty of traction that was Dustin's footage I think this is Jeff And I'm not sure I stayed in actual chronological order on this um, on this actual footage because I got footage from Dustin, Jeff, Adrian had a lot of different um, angles to choose from. See a rider kind of overshooting the turn right there. You all right? Again, you kind of come out of that field and you're carrying a lot of speed. Sharp, slow down. The Justin Brin from Spikes KTM running the uh, Sportsman AB class. That Sportsman AB class was huge today. There's me. Uh, right here, you can kind of see um, the lock was on the the lock was on the uh, gas can, and they couldn't figure it out. They ended up pouring gas on Sammy. She got mad. Funnest track I've ever ridden. We just pit it, Bryce. He's In my entire life, so much fun. Yeah, thanks for telling me all that, Austin. Why? Rather than because we didn't have his chant thing. The locker was underneath it, and then it was when everyone was like, he was pissed. Hey, do you want to camp at Ironman this weekend? Yeah, I think so. You want to leave on Thursday, right? Where are you yeah. going? They always like to have silly conversations during pit stops, which keeps it fun. Uh, another one of Jeff's angles right before this field section. This was a lot of fun right here because you come out of this corner and you can just hold it on. Bryce kind of got um, tangled up with Lane Martin early in the race and it kind of set him back and kind of messed up his whole mental um, attitude for the whole race. Um, he still ended up coming back and getting sixth. I ended up eighth. There was 11 in our class. I kind of got a gift from uh, Hayden McCurry there. He was definitely beating me, uh, but uh, his whole rear tire came apart. Coming around for the uh, finish line, um, Hudson, uh, he ran Sportsman AB, he ended up with actual overall, but that class doesn't count, so Van coming through, he ended up first in uh, 150 BC, and first overall, and Jackson Fisher was uh, second overall, followed by Gavin Carmen. This was probably 
one of the only races that I can remember um, when I came around. I didn't realize that Hudson Taylor was in the overall lead, and uh, he got around me with the two lap board to go. And uh, so when I came around and got the checkered flag, uh, I was actually disappointed. I wanted to do another lap, and that does not happen very often. So, super fun track. In front of you, coming from the 150 row, have any issues getting around them? No, I kind of just was patient and tried to make smart decisions and just be smart about getting everybody. I think you did pretty good. Did you also do some? Did you go down for the trail ride yesterday as well? No, I didn't get to go. Okay, well, that's why you're also fresh and ready to rock here this morning on a Sunday. Congratulations to you. Again, on your win, let's get to our sponsors and the folks that helped get you here. God, my family, and my friends for coming out. Mom and Dad, Fly Racing, WPS, Westfield Power Sports, Stacy Money Photography, Fuel Ministries, Cala, and Birdie LLC. There we go. Round of applause for our overall podium and your overall winner, Van Adams.
right guys thanks again for watching um sorry i was a little late on this one again this week didn't get it out till tuesday sorry charlie i know you're looking for it normally i have them out on monday but i've uh, just been playing a lot of catch up so but yeah um appreciate all you guys watching i, I kind of just do these things to archive my kids racing i know they're not going to do it forever so we're just kind of um have something to go back and and watch someday when we're all done doing this but for now it's uh we're having a lot of fun doing it and we want to just thank you guys for enjoying it along with us so see a lot of you guys in iron man next weekend should be the weather's looking awesome so should be fun